Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yo, welcome to Drinking Bros podcast. Who's wearing sunglasses inside today? Is that where we're at in today's world? Where the fuck did you even get the sunglasses? I didn't even see. You didn't have sunglasses a few minutes ago. You've got got 9,000 square feet of room over there. There's probably some sunglasses you don't even know about. Yeah, Yeah, probably is. Uh, we got we got Dakota Meyer on the show, acclaimed hero, um, but from a video game, right? Uh, yeah, yes, he was uh, in Call of Duty. That's right. I think it's the, the Call of Duty Three. Was that what you were in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were. I, well, I wasn't. You're, I wasn't actually in Call of Duty, but I, uh, I like I, I played it once. Mm. You did. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. you were in the Vietnam War. Yep, Vietnam War, and uh, you just got back. Let me ask yeah. you, do you play war games, Dakota? A lot of people want to know that if you would get on Twitch and play like war video games against people. That's big. I don't even I don't even know how to like turn on a console. I tried to play that. I was I was like right after my divorce, I was like, man, I'm going to I'm going to have so much free time now and I'm going to start like playing video games. So I actually went out and I had this like person at Best Buy teach me what I needed. Like I got this like Xbox 620 or something, 360 or some shit. Sure. Mm. Came home, like put it all together, got all the cool shit, wireless headphones and stuff. And I tried to play that one game, Fornicate or something like, uh, uh it's that starts with the F, you know, they fly you in and shit. Fortnite. Yeah, um, yeah Fortnite. definitely not Fortnite. Fortnite. Fornicate. Definitely no, Fornicate not. is Fortnite. another, <laughs> that's a different game. <laughs> different game altogether. So I don't know if that shows you my the level. Old fornicate. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that shows you my level of. Uh, so yeah, no. was that a game that your uncle used to play with you? Uh, no, Uncle yep. Touchy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no one's ever been able to make a successful porn video game. A lot of people have tried. Yeah, uh, and the reason. Uh, at least according to 30 Rock, is the Uncanny Valley. And if you don't know what that is, it's where a digital recreation of a human being gets real enough where it's creepy but not so real that you think it's an actual person. Sure. Like uh, Jar Jar Binks, for example. Yeah. I don't know. Have you or seen Polar those Polar Express. Ads? Yeah. Polar Express have, is another have one. You, have you seen those pre-roll ads, though, on Pornhub that's like this game will make you I don't believe. In, yeah. In, I don't in, like in it. I, don't, I still know I don't it's fake. I want to know what it is, though. I, I want to try it, how too. How do they guarantee it? I definitely want to try it, but I don't. There's no fucking yeah. way. There's no fucking way. Yeah. Here's what I want. I've actually got a great idea that I think could make the porn industry way even more money than they're already making. And here it is. You ready? Okay. So you you have your dope. Uh, so you punch in. Dope is in actual weed no, or no, no. Like, dope is an no 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 dope like on a sniper oh. yeah like information yeah. so okay. oh yeah 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 oh like your yeah 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 so you punch in the dope for a girl you want to bang like uh-huh. she's this tall she has this color hair this skin complexion tits are roughly this size and then you upload a picture of her face and it fucking uses an algorithm based on facial recognition to find the closest looking person to her well yeah. i think we could go oh. a step further than that dan because with with these deep fakes now, you can just upload a picture. I think you should be able, there should be a porn site where you upload a picture of whoever you want, and then it just gives you unlimited videos of them fucking. I don't see why that wouldn't be possible. I mean, if you, wow. it, it would take it a would. lot of, it would take a lot of back end work, and I'm not talking about the butt. Yeah, of uh, course. It would take of a lot of, <laughs> of course. Not. There it is. Uh, it'll take a lot of back end work insofar as you would have to map the entire scene. Like you would have to map. Oh, it where would be expensive time. and time consuming. Yeah. Absolutely. But if but you I could, yeah. if you could automate that part of it and then just have hmm. the fucking a three D map of the face uploaded, then that would be something right there. I mean, you could definitely. But do what that. if not porn companies it. went to yeah. when they actually produce this stuff? Like it was, it was like white, like like fully like like faceless features like almost like where the actresses wore like a like a mannequin suit that way it's yeah. like set up uh, green for screen, them to yeah. did they're, like they're, the they're setting up to to like digitally skin whatever you want yeah like the wow. mummy like brendan Fraser and the mummy or we could just cut their heads off yeah either one Either one. Yeah, Me personally, too. I'm a watcher. I like the amateur shit on you porn where they're just uploading like, it themselves. Like really do people like really put that much thought into like their porn? Like they really I, like have like really? No, no. Like, but here's the no. thing: it's not. A, they to will. Me, to me, it's not about one day they will. Only to like me, lonely weirdos. It's like, to me, it's not about pounding off to it. It's about I want to make these two people, whomever they are, mm-hmm. bang, and I can make that happen whenever I want. Right? Mm. I want to see Obama bang uh, like Rosie O'Donnell. See, I, so I don't have that. I want to find two strangers who I don't know. Yeah, that's my favorite part. As soon as that dot comes on, and then the the record, the REC on the U porn, I'm like, now we're talking. You recorded this at your house, and I want to live out your fucking story. 
There was a couple on there, and these are some of the biggest, mm -hmm. where you can see like the progression of their life. I watched a couple that I had seen a year ago. Now she's pregnant. They were having the baby, but they're still banging. They're going through their entire life, and I'm just watching them bang throughout their entire so life. It's, so, it's like, so it's like a porn vlog. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's the biggest thing. And Jared, I mean, I think Jared, you were the one that, that showed me this. It was that couple in, is it Vegas? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lindsay Love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is that her yep. name? Yeah. Uh, she yeah. was wearing a Black Rifle Coffee t-shirt in and, and some of her. It's, it's surprising how many uh, women, particularly, I haven't seen any dudes yet, but women in the porn industry who are Black Rifle fans. Huge, like Corey, <laughs> Cor Corey Chase, for yeah. example. Corey Chase. There's a few others too. Tattoos, guns, all that shit. If we can get Corey Chase on the show, that would rock the world. By the way, if you don't know who Corey Chase is, she is the mom in every mm -hmm. single porn video on X Videos, Pornhub, all that shit. She is the mom. Sometimes she's just there for encouragement. She's not even fucking. She's just encouraging like her stepdaughter to fuck her son. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's it's interesting to see where that industry is going, you know, because it's headed exactly well, where you wanted I, it to go. Jared, I, I, I watched, a, I mean, I watched y'all's podcast and they were talking about like, they're going where, you know, like, like the porn industry is like leading Americans to what they're into. Like it's, it's kind of mm -hmm. like, it's kind of, it's like the mindset behind it is kind of like, yeah, instead of having weird. instead yeah. of like Google where an algorithm learns what our behavior is, mm -hmm. Pornhub is kind of forcing certain types of porn search behavior onto people. And I agree with that actually. Yeah. I don't think it's yeah. I like I there's no way enough Cuz like there's all this like step like incest Yeah, stuff. but all like that is is renaming. Thing. Like yeah, all you're doing is like you're taking a bunch of old videos and renaming them. Yeah. Because like how many do you actually watch and they go, oh my God, you're my step brother. Like some of them do, but yeah. a lot of them don't. Yeah. You yeah usually, but, I mean, but, how, but a lot but of how those many times have you walked in and been like, been like, like ever called your step sister or anything like that? Like, oh, this is my stepsister. True. Yeah. I, Katie Cush was on the show a couple weeks ago and, and we talked about that because I have a theory, Dakota. I don't know if you've heard this. I'm convinced with all of the incest porn because that's like the biggest shit going on right now. Yeah. I'm convinced that it's like Russia or something who's slowly implanting that into your mind. So like long game wise, they're going to fuck up the culture like 30 years from now that everybody's going to have these mm. like father daughter fantasies and this other shit so that it's just some weird fucking inbred so, country. So what do you think? Like, so like, so I don't watch porn. I'll tell you straight up. Like I've, I've been on really, like, yeah, I couldn't even like when you, like, I don't like porn hub. Like I don't even like, yeah, I, I don't like I've like I've seen it like once or twice when somebody was like, "Oh, look at this" or something like it's like funny joke, right? Like I don't watch any of that shit. And um, so, what do you think? Like, cause like I I dated this girl one time, and she I found out she was really into porn. Yeah. What do you think the type of porn that somebody watches says about them? Nothing. Like, do you, do you, you don't think you don't think it's do you think it's a fantasy or do you think it's something they no. wish? Do, no. do you think it's there, no. you think there's anything to it? I think I think people who are into fucked up porn uh, are like just bored. Honestly, just like people yeah. who are into like dark comedy, they're just bored with normal shit, like dad jokes. Or, yeah. or they just get but, to I mean, the but, point but, but where they watch so much. But what if just... you're? But I know. But I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I, I do you think it could be like drugs? Like, you know, you start out and you're just into weed or something, and then you get into cocaine. And it's like, well, now I need more to get me high, so now I need more to make me get off. Yeah. Like, do you think it's like that? Or I do think, you think it probably it's like, is. Yeah, I do. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know how I mean? how like, old I, are you, Dakota? You're what? So I'm 30. I'll be 32 in June. All right, you'll be 32. You've never watched any form of Pornhub or X videos. That's the craziest you know, statement I've ever heard. I mean, like, like I would say, like, m like maybe when I was overseas, right? Like, mm -hmm. what the, back then was like Red Tube or something. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, like, yeah. I, And I was at the Marine Corps by the time I was 21, right? But like, no, like I don't like, I like I, I this may say something about me, but like as soon as she was like, she showed me two. I was like, well, like, what are you into? Like, it doesn't even make sense to me. She like showed me. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, but some people fuck. like Brussels sprouts." Sure, but, you know yeah. what I mean. To me, I, it's I, no different than that. I think people just have uh, different tastes. Like, yeah, but you're also talking about like you're taking and you're doing one of the the most supposed to be intimate things where you're the most vulnerable. 
you know may, what I mean? May, like maybe, it's not, it's maybe, not like yeah. it's like I'm eating on a diet. Like you're talking about like these are things that have to. <laughs> I know, think like, I think like, maybe you're just bringing your own uh, your own social bias to the table when you say stuff like that because not everybody f- looks at sex that way. Are you, you know what I mean? Are you are. You, well, that, I mean, yeah. Yeah, because okay. you're, you're talking to three guys who, uh, look, you're sitting next to one over there. That yeah, he's is a real piece biggest, of shit. Biggest fucking piece of shit on the planet. Also, just not even Bro, porn. Not, like, even, not even yeah. porn. Just Jared's, like, choices of movies that he likes. Do, do, yeah. I guarantee you, 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 if you go to his TV in his bedroom right now, he's probably watched Titanic within the last two weeks. Easily. Guaranteed he's watched that Easily. movie in the last two weeks. At, no. at, and at, it doesn't the, make any <laughs> sense. In full do- no, Dolby I, surround I actually, sound. I actually stayed the night with him last night, and uh, he, we watched The Notebook. Did you really? It's actually a great movie. That wouldn't surprise me Yeah, it is. Uh, it absolutely is a good movie. It is a good movie. movie. I think it's a novel concept. I think it's really sweet. And that scene when they're on the beach, and he says, if, uh, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. That's really sweet. I like that. Hey, f- ultimate flex of all time, uh, Kobe Bryant and his wife love that movie. He went out and bought the dress in the actual notebook for the movie and mm. had it framed for his wife. That is the oh ultimate flex of all time. It's still in their house. Yeah. Speaking of Kobe Bryant, so I've been trolling some people on ESPN's Instagram page mm-hmm. uh, as I'm oh God. as I'm I can't wait to, do. to hear this. So basically, they're posting uh, images of that female college basketball player that's broken pretty much every record ever, and she is an, yeah, or, yeah. She's a tremendous athlete. Was also uh, uh, Kobe Bryant was a huge fan of his, right? Yeah. So I've been talking shit to these people for two or three days now on this thread, and uh, <laughs> one of them. What I, like my point was no one cares about women's basketball, dude. Just no one cares. And there was like, and then one <laughs> one guy finally this morning he made it all worthwhile. He said, uh, "Well, Kobe Bryant did," and I said, "Yeah, well, look what happened to him." Oh <laughs> no way, dude! Yeah. <laughs> so, the setup, the layup. So, so the guy, right the guy called me a degenerate. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, I yeah. spent I spent two and a half days setting up this one dumb punchline. You know, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> obviously, I'm a fucking degenerate. Oh, oh god! Was, was 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 the first thing you thought about? Like, uh, damn, does he know me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was a little. I thought he might be outside my window, but I live on the fourth floor. So, <laughs> oh man, that's I've funny, been, man. I've been passing my time, uh, you know, here and there with... um, Yeah, what's the the next HOA project or... The Chinese virus argument. No, I've just been arguing with people about, you know, there's a lot of these, like, ahead of the power curve social justice warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep making this... I mean, one of our friends was one of them. He did it the (laughs) other night. And I, you know, you guys all have to stop with this Chinese virus thing. And I said, what the fuck, dude? Are you are you slamming out a fucking college feminist now? Is this like, like where is this coming from? Yeah. <laughs> you know but what's it's funny? Like, as as this articles, goes on, yeah, but as this goes on, dude, I think more and more people are coming around to the fuck China notion where they're just like... I've got an article. Well, here. here's my point is... New York Times put an article out yesterday. Yeah, it's, and it's titled the, Spit on, the, Yelled at, Attack, Chinese yes, Americans Fear and, for Their yeah. Safety. Get fucked. In the article, oh my it God. says media reports have gone up 50% of it, violence against Asians over uh, Chinese virus. Okay, so let's break What bro. the fuck does that mean? Bro. I don't know. Media reports have gone up 50%? <laughs> okay, so what was our starting number yeah. of violence against Asian Americans? I mean, come on. Who <laughs> was this, assault, who was this like randomly assaulting Asians anyways? Yeah. Nobody. That That's thing? the whole no, thing. Dude. No, like, nobody is. Every, every, yeah. no. Everybody Come talks on. shit Show about Asian one. people for the most part. Everybody talks shit because Asian people don't really get offended by that at all. It's only white people getting offended on their behalf. But yeah. I, I've literally never heard of someone so angry at Asians that they went out and attacked one. I don't think that exists. No, no, no. it's not happening. Especially and it, and over that's the, the coronavirus. Yeah, and like if you're, if you're dumb enough to think that something that started in Wuhan, China, which is a fucking industrial like manufacturing yeah. area, Somehow, those people all emigrated here within the last month. Yeah. yeah. And they're the ones <laughs> causing <laughs> shit here. Like, you're a fucking yeah. idiot. So yes. I was going back oh and forth God. with this, this reporter, Kelly Kennedy, who, you know, I have mixed feelings about her. But um, what are the, what, what's, like, the, she what's the mixed feelings? She hot, oh, but just, she's a liberal? No, she, she was hot? embedded with, with one of my units in oh, Iraq. That, okay. And she came back and wrote a book. And, like, she kind of is always, like, trying to use that as a fucking... You know, as her like street cred. Oh, like, she was a soldier uh, in Desert Storm, according to the interwebs here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Now you're talking about the woman that works for the Salt Lake Tribune. There we go. No. There we go. No, she is not old enough to be in Desert Storm. I mean, she was like fucking 
Our age. You know, that's uh, let's get on this topic. Let, let's get on this topic. Well, she I looks, she looks pretty like, young, to be honest. Like, you know, like, don't you? That, I can't stand that those reporters that went over with us they and, think, think, that and like, think that they get some type of credibility. No, because they they because were they after were, for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Like they, but, they but were I mean, after but, it for a book it, deal. They were after like, it for a fucking. But yeah. like they like think that like well, I'm gonna write a I'm gonna write a book on my experience on the front lines. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Richard Fuck Engel is you one of them. Richard Engel all last week was talking about the China virus. Like, oh, this is this is obviously super real. I mean, I I've tra- I've been in dude. combat, dude. Pick up a gun, Fuck. bitch. I, I, I never forget, like, when I go on some shows and, and, like, I walk in, they're like, yeah, you know, so I, I was over there reporting on the front lines, on the, on the, on the, you're on, like on, on the front on, lines, on, you're on, like, on, on the kickoff, on the kickoff to, you know, the, the Battle of Fallujah. It's like, it's like, fuck you in your blue vest, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so here was the argument, Ross, I posed, I kept hitting her with. I was like, hey, it says 50% increase of media reports on violence against Asians. I go, quantify that piece of data yeah. for me. Yeah, please, Is that yeah. one incident happened in New York City that somebody that somebody reported and then 50 news agencies reported on it and now we've risen 50% off of one incident? I'm like, you are not dealing with facts. And even then, you have to get in the, the instance of the Jesse Smollett syndrome is we are in a culture, yeah. we're in TikTok culture now. Yeah. Everybody wants their fucking piece of attention to be all on them. And how many of these fucking cases are gonna be fabricated? Because I'll tell you what, I've been shopping, we were, you know, I've been out at Sam's Club and the grocery store and stuff this last, the last week, you know, preparing to, to go on lockdown and things like that. And I've seen plenty of Asian people, and I'll tell you what I didn't see. I didn't see anybody fucking no, with them. I didn't see anybody fighting, right? <laughs> and even I, like our friend Jay, that was that was in one two six, the Blue Spaders, lost his leg in in Adamia, Iraq. He's like, yeah, nobody's said anything dude, to me ever. Dude, come okay, on. you're Chinese as fuck. Yeah, but and he's been, talking He's to also you. been making a bunch of racist videos lately too. <laughs> so, <laughs> which have been really funny. Yeah, by he's the way. funny. So I fucking love that dude. He's really funny. funny. But yeah, I, look. <laughs> besides not going to your local Chinese restaurant, I have not seen any form of. Oh man, no. fuck these no, people! I've gotten, like, I've gotten Chinese takeout three times in the last two weeks, bro. Yeah. And no, <laughs> no normal. Because American. I know that they live here. Yeah. Like they're no, at no greater American. risk than I am. Yeah. What the fuck? That, I mean, that has like, a high school education, the, is out there, come and on. understands like it, I'm just gonna fucking beat up an Asian because like it, it's a Chinese it, virus. It never even crossed like until you guys brought it up. I never even thought of it that way. I mean, it's so this is so. I'm telling you, this is the media. Exactly. This is the media trying. Yep. I mean, and and here and here's my thing with the American people, right? Is like, oh, up to this, we don't trust the media. We can't take the media serious. And now all of a sudden, like whatever statistics or whatever the media puts out, now we're gonna believe it. Like, like this is like such bullshit. This and whole, it's gonna it's whole gonna continue. This thing is such bullshit. Yeah, and we'll get to that in a second because you know here's what's going to keep happening is there is no news to report. Everything is shut down. There's no sports. There's yeah. no celebrity events. There, there isn't anything else. Therefore, in order for the news to stay on and continue to profit off of it, they've got to put to stories up fucking, like this. Exactly. Yeah. You're going to have to create fear. You're going to have to create a but controversy. It's a vicious of cycle course. when you have a president who one got elected because of that. And two is yeah. going to, in the long run, even though he's going get through some bullshit again. now, he's going to get elected again because of that. 100%. Because we're going to look back on this in a month or so, uh-huh. and everybody's going to be like, man, what the fuck? Like, this, this shit is basically over now, and yeah. uh, everybody, what do we all do? everybody was preaching doomsday. Everybody was criticizing yeah. the Trump administration. Like, Andrew Cuomo is losing his fucking mind. Andrew Cuomo right wants to be president though is the difference. Yeah. Like that's what he's going on TV for every single day. He's talking to FEMA today and they only sent him they sent him uh 5000 400, instead, of, 400. instead of or no no they sent him like 5000 re- respirators instead of the 30000 wow. he asked for. Right. And he's like, "Well, you can pick which 26000 6, people die, yeah. can die." Then. Yeah. Yeah. Like shut the fuck up, dude. Well, none of that. Maybe we run your state. We weren't prepared for that. Like you're the second richest state in the country. Maybe go out and buy your own shit, motherfucker. Since you're so goddamn incredible, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Andrew Cuomo, you piece of shit. We weren't prepared God, for that. Daniel. Nobody has thirty thousand respirators in a fucking no. warehouse just waiting for something like this. You don't fucking do that. It's the same in the military. I'm sure if a fucking huge war broke out, like a World War Three. 
There still isn't enough supplies for us to handle taking on fucking Russia and China at the same goddamn time no, right no, now. Not at all. It would take a little bit of time to stockpile and be like, all right, now we can go full bone. You'd have to this build. Thing. We would yeah. have to build. We'd it, have to build. We'd have to build. It, but exactly. My big thing is read between the lines in this in this reporting, and you can they make it abundantly clear. Yes. And that article is a perfect example. When they cite their fucking increase as a 50%, so the percent is a first one. They didn't even use a real number. Had they said, hey, 18 reports of violence against Asians in New York City alone, this is on the rise. Okay, that's a true, that's a, that's a statement with a fact yeah. that you can then follow up with. There were 18 police reports of somebody that was assaulted yeah. because, mm -hmm. because of this, and this is what came of it. All right, now we're going off of something. But when you read an article that gives you a fucking percentage based off of something, a number you don't know what it is, right. a 50% increase of violence against Asian reports, since the president called the virus the China virus, that's fake. That's yeah, absolutely if it, fake. If there that's was a reporter covering their ass. You know what I mean? If for yeah. anybody to call them out because they never said a real number. Well, I mean, effectively, that's like using a word in its own definition. Like, what, what does anger mean? Well, it means when you're angry. You know what I mean? Because they're referring back to a data set that doesn't exist. Exactly. Essentially what you're saying. So, like, what if it's two? What if there were two cases? So one more happened? Yeah, Exactly. And we also don't know what that Asian guy possibly did to the other people. He yeah. might have, he might have gone pee pee in he their coke. He could have been taking yeah. pictures. Might have gone pee pee asking. in their coke. Could have gone pee pee in their coke. He could have. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> there's a lot of things that could have happened. What? That they're, is totally plausible. It's they've, been doing, uh, they've been doing it for years. They've been doing it for years. Yeah, and, uh, we grew up like when we were kids. It happened all the time. Yeah, they went pee pee in that coke, my and, man. You know, we can see uh, we like people in Washington where this started out. This whole coronavirus thing. You know. They can see Russia from their house, right? Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. So they, they're, they're keeping an eye on Russia. They're keeping an eye on China. That one's for you, Dakota. Yeah, it is. Uh, wink, wink. I caught it. Yeah, caught you it. did. <laughs> <laughs> he just Thank gets red service, and doesn't Dan. comment. I like it. Yeah, I like it. By I'm the way, smart. the stock market's going back up. Stock there. market is going back up. And Dakota, I want to talk it to is. you about something you and I talked about off air about two nights ago, which is when oh, everything gosh. goes back to business and why. Yeah. You and I were talking, and I said, man, there's going to be a point in America where we just get sick of the shit, and whether or not the economy goes down the toilet or, or whether or not people go back to work, and then you worry about the people that have respiratory problems and will die. Um, Trump got on about two hours ago and said, man, I think it's time we start to reopen America and get back to work. That is currently trending yeah. number one in America. Number two is Liberty University. Next week after their spring break is over is going back to having classes again and inviting all 5,000 students back on campus, yeah. including the teachers. They will do online, but inside their dorm rather than from home because he says, I, I want this. college kids. Yes, you did. That's why I brought it up. And uh, this was one of the things where it was like, all right, great. If this happens now, how long until everyone else follows suit? Yeah, I mean, look, I think, I I think that we're gonna have to lead the way on this, right? I mean, I understand that our numbers are probably gonna spike. Um, I would expect our numbers are gonna spike because we are going to uh, we're gonna test more, right? Like, you know, once the tests come in and we start testing more, obviously numbers are gonna spike. Um, you know, look, they're telling people to go home. We're, we're saving tests right now, so more people have it than than's out there. Um, but I think I think I think the administration's finally seeing that more people are gonna die from shutting down our economy and crashing our country than from the coronavirus and then let me ask you this okay so let's say that we shut off for 14 days do you think that we can or let's say a month let's just say we, we shut the whole country down for a month nobody leaves their house right mm -hmm. do you think do you think the virus is 100 percent gone no. no yeah so then when we all go back to work then everybody gets it again so what are you going to do every time this comes up you're going to go back home you know what i mean and the other thing is is like i want to mm. see the numbers i want to see the numbers and, it, and you talk about you brought the media point up right is you see a picture of coffins in italy there was no details to that are there bodies in them are they not there's no details it's all playing off emotions and getting people fired up one way and scared and fear and it's uh, like everybody thinks they read the the the, the best article yeah with the most the most up-to-date information oh no you obviously didn't read this it's like bro this is all regurgitated shit like, Dan, can you, you are in a vacuum right now in the media cycle yeah like then can you pull up one one place that is on a uh shutdown like a, a stay in place that has a republican leader um oh one state yeah oh yeah 
uh, Ohio, Republican I believe. Governor. Uh, Ohio is, well, is, no, uh, no, is well, one. Not, not, not a state, but uh, no, no, but, but the mayors are deciding this. Oh, the individual mayors. Some are being over, overridden, like uh, Ohio, for, for example. That you yeah. know, I can speak to that because I went to Ohio State. But uh, the the governor there said we're shutting down the primaries. All this other shit, like we're we're all but done. But stay with in that. place. But like stay in place. I'm talking like stay in place. Yes. Like stay in shelter home. in place. Like shelter in place. Who? Uh, no, who, I don't think there's any Republican controlled areas that have that in effect that I'm aware of. Anyways, don't don't, um, don't you think like that? This is. I mean. Like this is this is a uh, it's almost like the the Democrats are trying to grab at who can do the most. That's what I mean. Governors are trying to out governor themselves like they're trying to be the one that did more. Exactly. And, yeah. and California jumped it up. You know, they they went hard in the paint first. So I think for Americans, I think here, look, look, this this isn't the big one. This isn't it. Here's what I think that people have to do is they need to look at their government response in the area that they live. Right. Like I tell people all the time, they're like, well, we can't have guns in New York. Well, fuck, you need to move out of New York. Right. Like this will happen again. This will happen again somewhere happen down worse. the road and it's going to happen worse. So I would be looking at where I'm living at and the response that they're having. And I'd be very selective as to when we come out of this, I'd be figuring out a new way to go find a place to live. Yeah, I'll tell you what, after after being in Texas and being in your house on 15 acres, that seems goddamn appropriate Not, in times like these where it's just like, hey, no, man. N- nothing's changed in my life like I, my kids are my kids are in daycare today yeah like nothing's changed in my life like nothing has changed we've took precautions you know why because we're adults like look if i was sick i'd stay home i wouldn't come over and and, and see jt i wouldn't go do stuff if i'm sick i'll stay home if if i got it right like like we're we're all I, I, nothing z, nothing absolutely nothing has changed in my life Pretty close to, to the same on this side. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I've had kids come over and play. We've been cautious. Um, I'm not yeah. sick. My children aren't sick. I wouldn't allow them to play with other kids if they were sick. I've been smart about it and listened. But there is a point where, yeah, you're right. It's like, when do we go back to normal and be like, all right, everybody's doing this shit. Because I still, look, I don't know about you, but we still have like paranoid people in our neighborhood. Hey, I mean, this is all with with what Trump said this morning or last night about, hey, you know, the, not tanking the economy and is going to cause more death and destruction than than this <laughs> virus ever will. I mean, yeah. this all just comes down to the the dude that drew the fucking short straw in Armageddon and had to stay back with the bomb. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, look, it's it's hey, are you willing to fucking sacrifice for the herd? And yeah. sometimes the the you know the cost is is worth the. I it's you, it's, a, a, it's an it's an it's an interesting discussion. I mean, look, it's not as black and white as we think it is. So uh, during times of economic booms, for example, the mortality rate actually increases, particularly for older people. Why is that? Um, because here's what I think, and it's primarily in the 75 plus category that it increases. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think this distorts the overall data set. But it's so for people 75 and over, I think it's because they don't need to work anymore. They're probably in a good economy. If you're 65 plus you're probably retired right right and people that retire die like if, if you if i've learned anything from all the older people in my life over the years is that people that have purpose and something to do whether it's their their wife or husband or partner or their friends or a job if you got something to do you live longer and healthier but if you just stop and relax and, and you die yeah, that's I, I I don't know if there's any data. The machine it. shuts down. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I think you need I think human beings are like grapes. You need struggle to stay alive. Like it's some your body needs to know that it's working towards some kind of goal. If you're just like, all right, that was a good life. Your body's like, oh, yeah, you're I mean, done. I, I, does a grape I, does I, a grape I, struggle? Uh, grapes like to struggle. Yeah, they like bad arid climates. Really? Yep. <laughs> I didn't know that. It makes them sweeter. Yes. Fucking A. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Idiots. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, but there is a causal relationship, an actual documented causal relationship between a bad economy and lower income people uh, increasing in poverty. And we know there's a causal relationship between poverty and, and higher mortality rates. So you have to ask yourself, are we, what are we doing? And, and honestly, this is, this is uh, it's not an easy discussion to have. It, mm-hmm. It's going to step on some toes and hurt some people's feelings. But what are we, are we doing so much to save 65 plus people that were letting young poor people die well i mean that's the i mean and, and that's look in, in this right here is the circle of life right this is reality these are the hard decisions that 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 we have to make sometimes right i mean it's kind of like it's kind of like the titanic mm-hmm. 
Yeah, um, you know, and uh, I'm sure Jared will show that to you in full Dolby surround sound tonight <laughs> inside of his bedroom and relive the yeah. magic. You want with to? I don't know. The, I don't, I don't know tonight. why they are so jealous of the fact that like I actually have fun with my friends. Yeah, I'm jealous like, of your hair. I invite them. I invite them to my house. Now his hair, like, things. let's talk about. His I'm hair. jealous of your hair. Are you growing this hair out for a, for a bet, Jared? Because you're right now. You've been playing with it a lot. No, 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 no. Not a bet. It's just the whole year. I got to look like the dude. Is that yeah. what you're going for? But, yeah. Next have you time, started? So, have you started drinking white Russians? I just want to wear Russians? a robe. I will once once I get it down to my my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> but that is this is the difficult question that we need to be answering. Right? Yeah. Like what? Do, how much? Are we fucking up the next 18 months? A lot of people. Go, so I, I, I did some research, some primary research on the energy grid and for my master's degree, right? Mm -hmm. Homeland Security master's degree. And the presumption is if the energy grid nationwide went down, about 3 million people would die in the first month. Like, done. Yeah. 3 million people immediately would die because they need mm -hmm. all the serve, the infrastructure. Respirators. The States, every, not, not just that. Face but they need, they need infrastructure. Whoever's making meals on wheels and driving them out there, that mm. shit goes away. Yeah, yeah. Medicine goes away. Yeah. All this other stuff goes away. So how much are we risking by trying? And I'm not yeah. trying. Honestly, I know I talk a lot of shit, but I'm not trying to say, let's just throw all these old people in the dumpster. Yeah. Uh, but we have to make a decision about the future of our fucking country at some point. And that's why I think yeah. that we need more military leaders in government and less assholes that are just fucking career politicians because they can make hard decisions. Politicians are so afraid of making difficult decisions. Like they are the yeah, biggest I mean, pussies on earth. But yeah. their well, 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 entire well, well, livelihood well. depends on votes though. Yeah. That's the, yeah, well, that's the there difference. You go. Yeah. Like, like if you, if, if, if like I don't, I think until they get this this bailout plan figured out, like if Amer if Congress is putting Americans out of work, why are they getting paid? Yeah, exactly. Pull their pay until they can figure this out. Yeah, until they, until until they can decide, until they can stop being like maybe if you stopped paying them, that that they would all stop playing politics and on our livelihood and start yeah. playing progression and start playing, <laughs> you know, like like it is for us, right? Like maybe if you if you stop paying them, they would start taking it serious. They'd stop figuring out, you know, who's going to get the credit on this and, and trying to slide some exactly. bullshit in there. And that, you know what, like, hey, it's not going to, it's not going to, you're, you're not going to get paid until this is figured out. I've got four points and this is part of my presidential run. Sure. This is what I'm running on. Okay. There's a zero chance I'm getting elected. So you ready for this? Yeah. Uh, the first one is term limits for Congress and Senate. And in the in the Congress, you can run three times. You I've I've heard that pitched a lot, and I, and I actually I agree with that. You can serve six years in that. Congress, two terms in the Senate. You can serve twelve years in the Senate, mm -hmm. right? While you're there, first of all, you get half the salary that they're current currently getting because it is a part time job. They work about eighty days a year, so get fucked with your hundred seventy thousand dollars a year for eighty days of work. Get, oh, man. get fucked right up your fat fucking asses. Uh, the but other what thing happens when after I run? Can you do that after I run? Because I want the pension. No, you're not getting shit. <laughs> Are that's, you running, by the way? Is that real? That's number three. Number three is number, <laughs> number three is no pension because you're not going to be there long enough to earn it. Get in, serve, get the fuck out, yep. period. And the last one is you are barred from investing in private companies or the stock market while you're ser actively serving in Congress. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with that as I think all four well. of those things get fucked with all your bullshit. And then obviously yep. the fifth thing would be campaign finance reform, the McCain-Feingold thing, but stretch it out. In, into infinity like you get five thousand bucks to run your campaign that's it yeah dan can i be Sorry. your best vice president uh yeah you can be my secretary of uh let's, let's defense, defense. Yeah. yeah that means you would serve underneath him dakota um <laughs> no, no. it wouldn't be my first time <laughs> no nah, goddamn right it wouldn't uh, the, the the biggest anger i have out of all of this is actually towards china like if this was an American Racist. disease, no. But if this yeah. was an American disease, and we'd China. spread this all over the fucking world, we would never hear the goddamn end Dude, of it. No, we Why would. can't we, we just would. shut we that country? The fu exactly. Why can't we just shut that country the fuck down? Turn it off. Make all your goddamn iPhones and your fucking shoes back here in America, because mm -hmm. we certainly have the workers to do it. What is the punishment going to be? For the end result of fucking up our economy. I don't know, but uh, at the end of this, the Republicans are partly to blame Nothing. for this, and I'll tell you why. Uh, Mitt Romney in 2012 is Mitt a Republican though? Let's be honest. He was yes. then. Well, he was he, then. Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. He was Mitt then. No he was Republican. then. He said the first thing he that's wanted like to do. That's like saying John McCain's a Republican. That's true. Yeah, yeah he's he was not. But uh, Mitt Romney. <laughs> Mitt Romney is the reason that corporations can put money 
into fucking campaigns. He is the sole reason. He and the Koch brothers, I guess. Yeah. Like the the whole fucking Citizens United bullshit. Mm-hmm. That is Mitt Romney, who is talking all this shit about Donald Trump. And anyways, uh, Mitt Romney said the first thing he would do upon being elected president was label China as a currency manipulator. And all the Republicans are like, we can't do that. That would start a trade war with China. Well, the first thing Trump did as soon as he got in was start a start trade, a trade war, war with China. China yeah. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. It worked perfectly. We should have well, done I mean, this but, fucking but, but 10 years it, ago. Has it, but, but let's go down the list. I mean, look, he, you you got to think he's made the relationship with North Korea a little bit better. He's at least made them fear us. I mean, again, we haven't, right? yeah, we haven't like, heard yeah. shit yeah, out of them. Let's talk about that. Like China, he's got, he, he started the trade war. He got a trade agreement done. Iran, he came in and fixed the pile of cash that the Democrats gave to, to, to Iran to 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 you know invest in terrorism i mean look let, let's just call it what it is 110 percent i i there's nobody uh on the face of our planet who wants democrats leading this country more than our enemies yeah, oh, I, yeah. Look, it's true because they want they want cash they want fucking weakness they want people to bow down to them and yeah they uh, want they want the fold because yeah. that's the first thing they're going to do a, de- a, a dem is never going to be like uh no, no fuck you that's I mean, sorry, but that's our side. <laughs> but, yeah, but I mean, it, it's been that way since day one with Trump, right? Like, I mean, like you, you look, you go back here the last, you know, six months, eight months. Oh well, the 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 world's going to end, you know. Or you go back two years, right? North Korea. Then you've got the impeachment. You know, Donald Trump's going to be yeah, Iran impeachment. launching Iran missiles. Iran launching missiles. Well, we turned around and killed, you know, the, the number three guy in Iran. Oh, that's going to end the world. Like everybody mm. was doomsday prepping for that trending, right? And then now it's this, and it's almost like the media and the Democrats are like, they are they are trying so hard. To win the election or get Donald Trump out, it's like they keep baiting him in. I mean, shit, we said this right after the impeachment yeah. was over. We were like, "What's, What's next? next? What's well, next? that's, that's tried to predict it. it. Yeah. This is this is the problem with ideological fundamentalism. It's just, it's no different than radical Islam or or the fucking God hates facts people or any of that bullshit. If you genuine genuinely believe that you are correct and your ideas beyond reproach, then you'll do almost anything to make it happen. It's true, and, yeah. and that includes fucking up the country. Like making Trump look bad fucks up the country, by the way, Democrats. Yeah. So maybe to the world, maybe just stick to your fucking talking like, hey, you know, we're going to support the president while he's here. And when he's wrong, we'll say he's wrong. But, uh, you know, here's our idea. We think it's better. Like, it's not you you can't fucking lay Semtex at the base of his fucking foundation, blow it up and then say, see. Yeah. No, you fucking did that. You (laughs) asshole. You stupid motherfucker. So we so we have to agree that like. The H one N one was way worse than this, right? I mean, do, can we can we agree on Statistically, that? Statistically, it was, and the and the fucking and army, it would hurt the army forced me hurt. to get a shot, which I didn't like. Well, okay, so so let, let's talk about that. Who? The, but there was not this much. So w- when was the H one N one? What year uh, was that? Two thousand nine. Yeah, wait, no, it was two thousand seven. Well, let me roll with you on this. Two thousand nine. Two thousand eight. One of our two thousand eight. You on this? Yeah. Let's let's just Ready? completely removed remove the media aspect of this completely. If if three thousand people, what is what is the toll in the United States? Six thousand, three thousand. The death toll right now? Um, no, no, it's no, like no, no, five hundred. Infection. Oh, it's like Infe- thirty thousand. Fifty thousand. Okay, so so fifty thousand people roll roll in around the United States with what they think is a respiratory infection, pneumonia, mm-hmm. or or the flu. Yep. Does this even get reported? So like like that's what no. I mean. It's like and, that, and that's what you Trump, didn't Trump label said that this today. So and Trump, named he did. It. He said that today. It, Trump came out and said this today, Jared. I'm glad you brought that up. He said, "Look, there is more people. There's 46,000, 47,000 people dying a year from the flu than there are this. Why aren't we not treating it like that?" He said the same thing about the auto industry. He said, "Look, man, the auto industry isn't shutting down because people are dying in car accidents every day. Yeah. So why are we treating this differently I, than anything else?" I, with with a very low. I had a. I had, a, I had a doctor tell me the other day, and like he's a an amazing doctor. He's like the same. The people who are dying are the same people who would die if they got the flu. Yeah, uh, and I tend to believe that at this point. Um, but you know, this is well, something that's, we that's won't just know my for point. years. It's like probably. had we not slapped a logo and a name yeah. to this, would would anybody even notice? Uh, no, Look, no, I don't know. I mean. It, Again, we've said this on the show before. This this virus spreads more than anyone that we've dealt with before. It spreads easier. Now we know that it stays on like 
uh, like surfaces and, and fabric I mean, for like one, 17 one, days. That's mm-hmm. a long one time. In three peop- one in three people don't even know they got it. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it, it may be more than that, actually. It may be 40, 45% of people that don't know they have it. Right now, uh, the uh, World Health Organization is saying that there's about 52 or so thousand cases in the U.S., 658 deaths. In the uh, U.S.? Yeah, the math is like it's 1.29% 1. 1. mortality rate. Okay. That's of reported cases, and it's gone down almost every single day since it's started. And it's nowhere 40, near. They're 50,000 to 331 million. Like here where we know we're getting good data, um, and when I say good data, I'm, I'm not including people who had mild, like a third that you're, you're adding. If it's a third of people, let's just say conservatively, it's a third of people mm-hmm. who experience no symptoms. That's a third. That's, that's uh, essentially 51 or 52,000 times 1.3. What is that? Times 1.3. That means actually there are 67,000. 600 people and 658 deaths that's less than one percent right mortality rate so we're, we're talking about the flu yeah essentially okay, so so uh it, just this year just in chicago 424 people have been shot this year and killed in chicago i heard a funny joke and I, it may actually be true it's that the coronavirus has actually lowered the death rate in chicago it has I was because people have stayed indoors. Yeah. That's, that's exactly right. It's not even a joke. It's it's real. Well, I mean, it was a I mean, meme, not a joke. But I, I wondered about this, what, two weeks ago on the news. I, I was concerned about all the criminals out there who were, whose businesses, <laughs> like their businesses are being affected right now. Crime! And as a criminal myself, I, I use drugs regularly. I don't care about your laws or any of that bullshit. So yeah. I'm yeah. worried about that. I'm worried about the, the, the secondary and tertiary uh, effects of that. Like what's the at drug? least your priorities are right. Yeah, yeah. What's the what's the drug market going to look like six months from now? Dry. Is cocaine going to be yeah. too expensive? I hope not. Well, because I, I've no, got I shit. Think, to I, do. Think, I think it's going to be cheaper. I think people's going to be able to off. They're going. to have to offload it. You know. I what do you think? Money. What do you think the cartels are doing right now? Honestly, well, I mean, I, what do you think? I, I think I think they're. I mean, well, I mean, I'm they're sure. I, I'm sure. I'm sure with their laws, I'm sure that they are on lockdown. I'm sure they're at stay at homes right now. You know what I mean? Uh, mm. Only essential <laughs> business. Um, I'm sure, yeah. you know, I, I think that that's what's what's going on. I mean, uh, nobody cares you know, about the laws I more saw, than Venezuela. Wouldn't it be funny I if fucking the cartel started building a wall, but on the Mexican side? Yeah. Oh to keep us I haven't heard about any, any, any reported fucking coronavirus no. in Mexico. Nothing. Nope. Maybe they got yeah. it all figured out. Well, you, you didn't hear about any in North Korea either because the first time somebody starts sniffling, they shoot them in the face. Clack, clack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw an interesting tweet that said um, it was it was yesterday that said, imagine imagine serving prison time right now for mm. a marijuana related. Offense, I know they should let seeing that. Seeing that marijuana dispensaries were deemed essential business. I know. Right? Oh. First of all, none of those people should. thirty. It's like 30, I think 31% of all the people in prison, not jail, but prison in the United States. And that's 3 million that people. Is, yeah. That's a million people. They're in jail for some kind of marijuana-related offense. Yeah. Nonviolent wow. marijuana-related offense. That's crazy. Let that's these crazy. motherfuckers out of jail go. now. And, and that's $45,000 per year So California one million. actually started doing it, and then uh, they started letting out some of these criminals i'm going to use air quotes around that for marijuana offenses uh and then jared to your point all of my friends in la said the the dispensaries are empty they're like man they're having trouble keeping product on the shelves bro <laughs> that's one business who's definitely not we're, hurt by the we're virus. spending about yeah. 50 billion dollars a year to keep people in jail for weed crazy or in prison <laughs> crazy legal 50 billion dollars you know what we could be doing I mean, with that yeah, 50 that billion three- dollars we could be buying oh, weed yeah. with that fifty billion dollars. We could be buying dude. more weed. <laughs> and we could buy some respirators. Give me some weed we now. Do. Hell yeah. We can oh, buy oh. some ghost beds from ghostbed.com yeah. forward slash drinking bros. Certainly That's right, good. kids. We get some sponsors. Pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air. Ghostbed is trying to help you out as well. They're slashing prices 25% off everything in the entire stores. If you get a mattress, you get two free pillows with it. Adjustable bases are half off. Everything in the store is 25% off. And as always, the 36-month pay-as-you-go, no-interest program works with the fucking discounts. So if you're at home and you're stuck and you're quarantined with a Democrat as your fucking governor and or senators, well, you're going to be quarantined for a while, so you might as well rest in comfort on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get on it if you haven't already. 
Uh, next up, we usually have a sports show today, but uh, obviously there is no sports for the next three months because of all this bullshit. There are no sports. Subject verb agreement. Ross. Nah, there I is mean, no I mean, sports. No, there ain't no sports. There ain't no all sports. All motor dog. sports and racing is fucking kinks. Like, but my, my my bookie is one of the most. I swear to God, they Ingenious. have so much crazy shit on this fucking site. That so you can bet I, on. Jared, I bet on that. They had coronavirus over and unders about a uh, hundred deaths. Uh, it was uh, about a month ago. A month ago, yeah. So we did a whole sports show of me gambling on the coronavirus i the, the olympics getting canceled it was all like five to one too i mean like amazing odds yep the olympics getting canceled uh uefa the over under for deaths in america was 100 and i was like take the over hammer the over mm -hmm. um and then uh the olympics was the last that's one, one of the reasons why i have sixty one that as well thousand dollars in my fucking my bookie account right crazy now. crazy <laughs> um so now my bookie since uh, march madness is canceled you can go there. They're having the world's largest blackjack tournaments, mm -hmm. and uh, you win $10,000. So if you type in the promo code MYB150, that's MYB150, they're taking your deposits and giving you 150% plus that. So if you put in a grand, Wait. congratulations, you get a 1500 on top of it. Yep. MYB150. Can we host a, pick, a pit bike race here and have people bet on it and then... And then broadcast it live. Someday we will have that capability. And we've, we've talked to them about that. We talked to them yeah, at my, mybookie.com. They're, they're amenable said, hey. to that idea, yes. They are, yes. Well, sure, I mean, sure now's answer. the time. Now that everybody's on lockdown, we could have this put together in three days. Technology is getting close, my man. Uh, go to mybookie.com. MYB 150 doubles your deposit and a half. And uh, you can bet on blackjack. They got uh, slots, poker, all that shit. A bunch of drinking bros and drinking bros sports on Facebook are, always, are already like, dude. Your guys are way behind. We've been doing this shit for years. And I'm like, sorry, man. I didn't know. I just yeah. I usually just gamble on sports. Well, uh, I didn't know. And I apologize. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do it right now. You should, dude. Um, and this 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 last one here uh, before we get to Black Rifle is uh, you guys had asked us to reach out to a company um, called Duke Cannon. Yep. They're a veteran owned company. And he said, dude, they make the best fucking products. And uh, if you guys could get them as a sponsor on the show, that would be rad because we want promo codes for it. Uh, we did make it happen, and uh, they'll be coming with us, what, in a, probably, what, two or three weeks? We'll be starting mm -hmm. doing those ad reads. So we reached out to Duke Cannon, and we got him. We got him on the show. This, I, I just got the products here. Naval Supremacy? You can smell like Naval Supremacy? Um, oh, man. <laughs> what does that smell? Let me see it. It's, it's, I didn't know what it meant, but it's awesome. The products are, like, the fucking best in the world, like... Oh shit! That's I understand why you guys they? wanted that a promo code. That really good. Actually. I know. I understand what, why you guys wanted they? a promo code at home. Um, it's everything from like body, uh, like body wash to like soap to. Okay, so it's soap. It's all like grooming yeah, products. Grooming stuff. You left yeah. that out. You just Gro said no, Duke no, no. Cannon. Everybody well, knows what Duke Cannon is. Yeah, dude. everybody knows that Duke Cannon is super famous. Yeah, but that's but look at your hair. Jared, you don't know anything. You look like Bob Seger, 1978. You right look now. like Albert Good. Einstein before he got struck by lightning. Yeah, it's Hell yeah. wait, did that happen? Nice. Yeah, it did. I don't think it did. But uh, like, I know we I don't, don't either. We haven't we haven't started <laughs> with these guys yet, but just know they're coming up in a month, and we heard you, and we reached out to them, and they were down, and then part of their proceeds for all their shit actually goes to veterans, which is awesome. Um, but we'll get more into their company when they come up. Uh, let's hear about BlackRifleCoffee.com. What are you guys doing over there, Jerry? They sell coffee. Well, I mean, you know, we just ended Mug Madness. That was that was pretty awesome. We had a bunch of brand new mugs out. Um, I'm still, obviously, with all the things going on, I'm delayed on my my um, my page store that's going to be coming up on BlackRifleCoffee.com backslash JT. So those Ford products slash. that, that – Forward slash – yeah, Whatever. four slash Uh I don't those understand the damn internet now. Um, so it's going to be a little bit, probably mid-April. April, we'll see that launch. Uh, but, you know, go ahead and join the club because we are not stopping shipping coffee right now. Yeah. So you don't have to go out to your grocery stores to get your coffee. You can have it sent right to your door. That's right. Drinking Bros a 20 is the promo code in that. And they got a bunch of awesome new blends, Dan, that, that like are your favorites. Well, yeah, I mean, they've got the uh, exclusive coffee club, and it's, uh, I think, what was the last one? Was it uh, Escape Goat? Escape Goat. What's, yeah. what's coming up this month? Do you know the name? We can't say. Ah, oh, you can. You can, we Jared. We can't say. Whatever it is, it'll be a specialty uh, small batch limited edition roast. So what they do is Evan and the, and the gang, uh, they buy, like, smaller amounts than usual of these very high-quality specialty roasts. And then they figure out what the best roast uh, settings for it are. They mm -hmm. make it, send it out. It's great. It's uh, 25 bucks a month. 
it's a really good deal. Like, cause I, I pay for the similar. So, uh, Paulie sent me both of the last two months. Yeah. And typically I would pay for that bag for those bags. He sent me for that quality of coffee. I would spend, those are 12 ounce bags. I would spend probably like 80 bucks for those. Shit. Give or take. And you're getting them for 25 bucks. All right. Wow. So it's, it's very good shit. And then the, uh, in addition to that, black rifles working on some, uh, some stuff to help nurses and EMTs and shit like that. Yeah. Right now I'm trying to help them out with that. Uh, I talked to their uh, VP of marketing, Molly, today, and I think we're going to focus first on the areas most affected, so New York and Washington State. Okay. So if Yeah, you're, and uh, there's a video going out tomorrow that's going to yeah. be pumping that. Yeah. If you're a, uh, if you're a, a nurse or a cop or, or an EMT in either one of those states and you feel like you can help facilitate – getting product out to the masses and that way just hit me up on instagram and i'll we'll talk about it. we're trying to figure out the best way to do it i know bass pro is probably going to be involved in some way or another so we're we're, we're figuring out a way to make it easy for everybody mm-hmm. to come get their shit kind of like tank lawrence did with the drive through thing in dallas yeah, yeah. last weekend um obviously in times yeah, of crisis I even, I even heard like uh steve arpin was switching over his race shop to start building hospital beds. Yeah, he. A lot of people so, are doing a lot of stuff. Like yeah. it's. I was gonna say during times of crisis, you find out who real heroes are and who's really holding our our economy and our country together. And like always, it's it's sergeants, it's nurses, it's EMTs, it's police. It's not assholes. It's not people yeah. who are fucking. <laughs> it's, it's, not not, it's not lawyers. It's not lawyers. It's not people who are bitching on it's Facebook. It's not TikTok. It's not, it's one, not politicians. It's not politicians. It's not one thought, one prayer on Facebook. It's, yeah, it's one like gr- equals one prayer. Yeah, it's it's fucking it's it's people who are grinding it out on a daily basis and actually contributing to society. So, Black Rifle being the company and quality of company they are, are going to try to give back to those people. Okay, uh, we've got breaking news here, by the way. Uh, Donald Trump has just said he wants the country opened by Easter. By Easter. He says uh, the president uh, wants the U.S. raring to go in just two weeks, a date that few health experts believe will be sufficient enough in containing the spread of the virus. That's a What's CNN. Easter? April 4th. That, um, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, that, I, I read that, I read that Easter? earlier. Uh, Easter is, what, two weeks away? It's the second Sunday yeah. of April, I believe, yeah. Yeah. every year. Okay. But anyways, uh, I, I love the CNN version of that because you read – I could tell you read the CNN version based Correct. on how they fucking yep. how they uh, word titled it. Because yep. it's like uh, very few medical professionals believe this is possible. When he says something like that, it's the same as him talking about the chloroquine, uh, chloroquine drug. Quarinine. It's chloroquine, okay. but it's quinine. Quinine, that's it, yeah. So – it's him talking about that drug, like, yeah, we're making advances in that. We're, we're getting studies pushed through and rushed through. Because usually with the FDA, it would take a year to even get it approved for human trials. Sure. At any rate, he says stuff like that. And they're like, oh, and a, a drug endorsed by Trump has been linked to fucking blah, blah, blah. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. First of all, four people have died so far. Two of them overdosed mm-hmm. on the drug. And the other two, it wasn't actually the drug. It was a drug used to treat, uh, uh, like, fucking fish. Yeah, viruses in fish in in tanks, and it sounds kind of like, and it's a close approximation of that drug, but it's not. It's not a drug. They took it and died. <laughs> like they're oh, this sounds about right. No, Hell yeah, you know brother! What? And they like, took it and died. You, they yeah. deserve to die. I hate to say that. It's rude. It's mean. I, I'm not glad they're dead. But Darwin wins ten times out of ten. I mean, yeah. like, if you're not a person that watches his press conference, press conferences the other day was a prime example of how just fucking out to lunch these reporters are. This woman asks the question, is it true that you've been speaking to the 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 president of Carnival Cruise and that they've offered up the ships in case we need them? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I spoke to him. And he said that, yes, he will make ships available if we need to use them as hospitals off the coast, you know, to quarantine people and things like that to keep it away. She's like... Well, well, why aren't you using them now? He's like, because we don't, we don't need them yet. Well, why aren't you using them now? I just told you we don't need, we don't need them those yet. yet yeah. well, 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 why not hotels? Hotels mm. aren't quarantined. On right, right. Who's gonna, right. who's gonna it's staff like, the hotel? Are you this yeah. fucking stupid? Right. And it's right. like, it's like you're just trying to bait the, somebody into something that you're fishing for. Yeah. But you sound like a complete moron. It's so process. stupid. Go ahead. There, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no longer any like reporting. It's like, 
it's it's trying to find facts to to it's trying to find and, and only a tell, scab uh, yeah it's like, like it's like it's like it's confirmation bias like like That's they're a, all like they're not journalists they should be retitled they're to opinionists. opinionists yeah they're they're full of shit yeah. so, so cnn so you're an opinionist CNN, opinionist cnn had an article the other day we talked about i think we talked about it yesterday actually and it was uh gamestop employees uh furious that their jobs have been deemed essential like no they're not i guarantee you they're not because everybody else is out of work especially people who make yeah. that amount of money like they GameStop, em, GameStop employees are not furious that they're not poor right now. Like oh, yeah. Everybody else, I, so shut the fuck up, CNN. Jesus Christ. By know. the way, so I what I was reading when you were talking in the last one, there was breaking news from my bookie here. Um, ironically, <laughs> mybookie.com is the first uh, company where you can bet on simulation for NBA 2K games. So the computer is just putting two teams against each other. Yeah, yeah. There'll be point spreads on that, <laughs> and you can bet well, on what? that. So, so that that's one thing that's, that's happening. on mybookie.com. We just, you, that's our sponsor. Since, this since, just broke right now. Yeah. Since you mentioned uh, Steve Arpin, I know that a lot of NASCAR guys are planning to play the NASCAR PlayStation I racing? game. Yeah, I yeah. racing. What? They're planning yeah. to play. They're planning to all, like set up races and all play against each other and race. And that be and actually the video I got it's from a, Travis wow. Pastrana today. He was in his iRacing sim, so yeah, it's this a might great, be a thing. Well, you, now you, now you can you, bet on it on mybookie.com. So the the first wagers they said that are going to be taken will be simulated matches of of the NBA, yeah. um, and they're going to put teams against each other and a point spread. Yep. I, I'm not huge into video games, so I'm assuming it's just the computer, right? Nobody is manning that type of for, shit for these. Yeah, would be okay. That, yeah, but I mean, like, wow, not, not for the so race for the crazy. for the racing thing. It's actually professional race car drivers who are going to be, and it's not like it's not a PlayStation video game. Okay, it's it's a sim racer. So it's like if you ever been to like Dream Racing in Vegas or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. There's a little. <laughs> there's like a. It's a. It's basically a cage or a roll cage you get in that has a video. Wow. Game I, he's signing up. He's signing up for my bookie right now. You should, dude. My hey, what's the, what's the pro? What's the promo code? Myb fifteen. Myb one five zero. One five zero. One five zero. You can fucking double your deposit and then bet on these sim games. That's crazy, man. Um, the next step of this, Jared, really is what you said. Just go to the backyard. Let's put up two fucking. You know. I'm saying if you guys call them because we have the equipment here to go to go live. We can we can we can have a full you know pre race where you introduce all your all your drivers. We got four <laughs> bikes. We got about a it's about a half mile track. We'll do ten laps. So you yeah. want to go? Like, you want to go pit bikes, but you have to wear a hazmat suit the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking awesome, dude. Um, and there's a couple dicey parts in there that if you're if you're trying to come in too hot, thinking you're gonna shave some time you're gonna get fucked up yeah well, i would like to see dakota hovering and just fucking blowing people off course with his rotor wash from his helicopter so no 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 oh no i, I can fly over him like it's like the 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 tr oh, desert he could racing be the arrow and cam. i could yeah, be the we'll arrow cam. Oh, shit. jt get up there with a red camera just fucking hanging out of the goddamn yeah. helicopter, and then we'll fucking do it better. so oddly enough dude perfect did this the other night they went live for i think four or five days in a row each with a different competition all i kept thinking was the same thing of like Man, how far are we away from just betting on them? Because they did a three-point shootout. This isn't that far away from, like, the top esports athlete last year made $23 million or some yeah, shit. Yeah, like $23 yeah. Million or Was some, it Ninja? Is that, is that yeah, the Yeah, he made $3 million on one Fortnite competition or something oh, yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy so, made $16 million. So yeah. not just on uh, the competitions themselves, but also on monetizing on YouTube and shit mm -hmm. like that. This is a huge industry already, and this whole quarantine thing is just going to make it bigger. Fuck. I love that. I love the idea of betting on something that's completely random. I do too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like an NBA 2K it's sim. It's fun. I'm that is completely I'm going to do this tonight just you and to I, do it. You and I can bet on opposite sides, and neither one of us have an inside track. We're just both assholes that are bored. It's true. Yeah, you yeah. Know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> and we can talk <laughs> and, as much and, shit. Yeah, you're doing it to talk shit to each yes. other. Like, that's, you know. That's amazing, right, dude. I, look, the future is here. And, I think and, we uh, should have a pube growing contest. Where do you, you watch it? Where do you watch it? The like, pube growing contest? No, no, not that. That's going to take years. No, watching pubes grow is, is slower than grass. Couple, here's what I. Here's what we do. First, you have to submit a picture completely shorn, right? Yes. And then we start from day zero, and you have two Where, weeks. You work your way up, yeah. And then we'll fucking get a micrometer out and measure the pubes. Oh, dude, I got that shampoo for horses that makes your hair grow fast. Yeah, mane and I'm tail. Winning. Yeah, mane and tail. Yep. So, it's Alec, Alec, it's called mane and tail. I've never heard it of It makes that. your hair grow fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, I used to use it. I used to use it. I got it from Alec, my dad's uh, store. Yeah, our, our producer, Alec, is going to measure the pubes. 
Yes. Yeah. How, do you, how do you like that? How do you like that, Alec? You get a little uncomfortable. We don't. We don't care about. We your want an accurate measure. It. Yeah. We want an accurate measure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'll do it. I don't I'll have a fast it. pube grow though. I, like I'm not going to bet on myself in this one. You don't have to bet on I yourself. I think Jared would win this one. No. Maybe. I think it would probably be me to be honest. I only got to do a, sh a, sh a <laughs> like full my hair grows like twice a year. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> how long is it taking you to grow that? How long is it taking you to grow your hair out right now? Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know when the last time I get a haircut. This is like three months, I think. You're saying you go full sheer twice a year. I, yeah, pretty from, much. Aside from rhyming, uh, tell me about, does it look like a button and a fur coat towards shaving time or what? No, not at all. Like, it's only about half that. Mm. We should name this episode full sheer twice a year. Um, that, that, that'll be the, the episode. That, so I do. I, that's what full, I do. Full sheer that's twice I, a year exactly hyphen what I do. the pube Olympics. Yes, that's exactly what I do. <laughs> uh, twice a year, I shave up, and then that's it. Like, like I'm done. Same uh, with the armpits. The pube Olympics. I like. I'll shave mm -hmm. my, my pits twice a year, and that's it. Like, but my hair doesn't grow that fast. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't shave my armpits. Really? No, I braid them. Oh, oh God. Viking braids? Uh, no, it's cornrows. <laughs> you want to keep it close to the skin, obviously. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. You don't want it hanging out there. That's the whole fucking point. Otherwise, I would just rip them out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan of yeah. that. Yeah. Really I'm good a big point. Fan of and then you could cut them off and then mail them to people. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the year. Yeah. 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 Who, who gets those? Who's the first in line for that? Ex girlfriends? Well, I mean, Sarah Williams is number one, our worst yeah, fan. Yeah. So whomever, whomever wins <laughs> the worst fan. Does she know that she won that yet? Did Probably. you guys at least send her a at message? At this point. I banned her from the sports group. Can you so see it in the, uh, in the, on your screen yeah, over yeah. there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we had a full, this is a heavy trophy. It's like a 15-pound trophy we had made um, for the Sarah Williams Award, which is the worst fan of all She's time. She's the worst. Every year we pick one, but they get to come back. Like, if you're a cool person, you so get to come back. Today, <laughs> Tuesday, March 24th at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, I'm guessing it's Eastern, the LA Lakers are playing the Utah Jazz, but it's an NBA 2K sim. Wow. There are no two players playing. You can bet on it right now. It's it's minus seven and a half Lakers. You can oh, go bet. Who is it? Is it the Jazz? The Lakers and the Jazz. All right, now this is a dumb question. Current now, rosters. Now, two of the, the Jazz's star players tested positive with coronavirus. I'm sure. Are, are they in this game? I'm sure they are, yes. Okay. You're talking about Donovan Mitchell and I just want to know if, if fucking cartoons can get coronavirus too like, there's also mavericks versus the clippers Simpsons. and the wow. clippers are minus four and a half wow dude i'm betting on this shit tonight i am too it's so fucked up i have nothing else to do so who gives a shit i'm gonna drink lean and yes. smoke a bunch of weed you should I am. Uh, and, and by the way you should listen to dakota meyer's new podcast um it is uh front toward enemy dude it's look we get we have the you and uh me and jesse and brandon got to sit down yeah that show is out tonight uh subscribe to front toward enemy with dakota meyer you're fucking great at it by the way yeah you're Man. you're great that's the hardest podcast uh, out of all the podcast stuff to do finding a good host is the most in my opinion the most difficult part of it and you you know naturally i mean i think it's mostly because you won't shut the fuck up but it's like uh yeah just from doing the professional speaking circuit for so long you've really developed a talent for it so it's a really good show i think jared's going to be on it uh soon right you're doing a show today and then dan yeah yeah, exactly. later, right? yeah yeah hopefully i'm gonna get dan on tomorrow and okay. um yeah yeah so it should be good yeah everybody out there subscribe to uh front toward enemy with dakota meyer uh that show is is and fucking make rad. sure you go on there and write a review after you listen to one of them yeah, he's yeah, also man, look, yeah we've been bad about that we've you know in five years of doing this we've never asked for reviews i don't think of like i think we've hey, only got like we, six we did a contest no we, we did a, like we did a review contest oh we did yeah, we did a contest where the funny the, the review that made us laugh the most, we sent them something. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. And I remember Ghostbed did something, too, where they gave a mattress yeah. away. Um, yeah, and then we're also going to have a Clips channel up on YouTube as well. I think it's up now. It's just we're just starting to just starting media to put to clips it, yeah. out there. Um, uh, right now, all of our shows are under the same YouTube channel. Except uh, for Front Towards Enemy. Yes. That one's on. Because just Dakota's, Dakota's, Dakota's famous on already. On that's on Dakota uh, Meyer. Yeah, like Dakota's the, famous the already. The YouTube page for that is just Dakota Meyer, right? Yeah, just to okay. cut him out. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'd love to see you sit down with Marcus Luttrell. Have you have you guys ever yeah. gone one on one? Uh, no, we've never done a, a podcast together. I've done it with his brother Morgan, right? Like I, uh, but I, but I'm close to the Luttrells. I mean, I, I definitely we could knock I that out. I spoke to him this be, morning. Yeah, it'd be it'd be uh, Marcus would be a good one to get on there. You know, I mean, Marcus is just gosh, he's just he's he's an extraordinary guy. Yeah, he's Larger been on our mine. show a couple times, and every time, dude, you you feel like it's you're a better person one 
Two, he's got the best fucking stories of all time. Like yeah. last time he was yeah. on, he told us about the giraffes in his yard. He's the most Texas yeah. dude I think I've ever met. He's yes. more Texas than Texas. Yeah. Yeah. And he, the, only, yeah. the only way he could be more Texas if he was Mexican. <laughs> Look, it's 2020, dude. Let's just be, you know, real here. Texas well, is you're mostly right. Mexican. At this it, point. it is. You're, uh, Dan, you're racist. No, I love Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, Dan, it's not the Chinese virus. It's uh, the virus that came from another country that starts with China. China. Some people did some things. Some buildings fell down, and <laughs> yeah. now yeah, we're exactly. at war. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Are they up for so, re-election, those guys? Every two years. So the all of them. Il- Ilman is is up for Ilan re-election. Ilan Omar, fucking Rashida Tlaib, all of them are up for re-election every two yeah. years. They're all in Congress. God damn it! I don't understand why you, you and Latrell just don't run for f- the fucking House, dude. You got you guys I mean, would win. You know, you know, like no, like I, I would I would never I would never run because I I see just the. Uh, you know, like shittiness. Pe- the shittiness, man. Like, 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 like I always question people who run for those jobs and it's like, yeah, I mean, you can go in there and, and hope that you're going to do the right thing. But like, I mean, you don't even get to portray yourself the way you want to be portrayed. Right. The because me- there's the so media, much president. Yeah. 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 I mean, the media, the media can take and, and just slam your world. Right. Like they can, they can paint you out to be a picture to, cause, cause here's the thing, right? Like, I mean, look, when you go, like everybody has their own audiences. It's kind of like you look at the media as influencers, look at all the, look at it, the people, you know, Hannity or, you know, Jake Tapper, all of them, they all are like influencers. And so when you go and, and, you know, you can't obviously speak to every, I mean, that's why Trump was able to do what he did because he spoke directly to people, right? Right. Uh, with his Twitter. And uh, when you have other people speaking on behalf of you, it just, it, it turns into more reporters, more reporters. It's kind of like the telephone game, right? And except when you have the person right at the top that goes ahead and spins it the way they want it. And it's a wildfire and you're just all of a sudden running around and figuring out how to, how to put fires out. Well, yeah, I mean, every fucking politician has an entire team dedicated to messaging. Yeah. That, that oh, was, yeah. think about I mean, that. like that, that. How bad is it that like you you can't just hear what the person's saying and then say, "Hey, what did you mean by this?" Like, no, here yeah. Trump Trump said this, so he's endorsing fucking chloroquine as the fucking drug that everybody should be using. He didn't say to go buy a fucking close proximity at the fucking. Uh, aquarium store and then take mm-hmm. it imagine <laughs> By the way, imagine yeah. <laughs> imagine i'm sorry if, that ima- i had to tell you that but <laughs> imagine if we took the media like i've always thought about this imagine if we took the media and we had like some trusted like like you could fix a lot by this and you had like you look at it as like a a, a game like for the media like they have fouls technicals all this based on what yeah, they put time out outs. you find out you find some some referees and they're all brought in every six months or every year, right? And then you know, like we, they're held accountable, like we we they're voted in. And then what you do is is they're the accountability people. I mean, look, like players get fined all the time in the NBA and the NFL and all this. Like they're always getting fined, even NASCAR, right? Mm, and yeah. what if you turned around and anytime you're not accurate, you got a foul or you got fined individually, not the network, but you know, or or the network could get fined too as the team, right? Like their teams. And we turned around and held them accountable. Yeah. There has to be some level of accountability. The problem with that is that anybody in power is going to use that as a weapon, right? Well, They're going to yeah. use it as a weapon from their own point of bias, which is why people like me who don't give two fucks about Republicans or Democrats should be in power. We sh- I should be in charge of everything. <laughs> you understand? Yes. <laughs> I, am, I am 100% in favor of a benevolent dictatorship, like somebody who should, who doesn't. I think I'm less opinionated than you. Uh, no, you just know less. That's not the same thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, people who don't, who aren't invested in the day-to-day operations of either one of these parties, we should be given like a stipend to be as rich, so rich, like what Milo said. Like it should be people who are so far removed from society that they can make objective decisions. Yeah, right? yeah, but there's no like that doesn't even make sense. Sure, it makes sense. Like look at it makes any, no sense. Like look at uh, ancient Rome. That's how it was run. Now they had problems. Yeah, how, where's Rome at? How's Rome? <laughs> well, they were. They yeah, were, how's that? How'd that work out? They were pretty good for a lot longer than we were, my man. Well, like, no, we, no, we, no, we've existed for 244 years now, and and they were around <laughs> for a lot longer than. It that. was a lot of dudes, fucking dudes, though. You know? um, yeah, no, that's the Greeks. Who cares? Not the same way. Same That's thing. the Greeks and Romans. Who cares? Are not the same uh, you know, Dan, Dan, you know what? Like, here's the deal. Like, you walk in on this show, and you're smarter than all of us. I mean, you you spit out all these facts. We, I mean, we can't even... 
we can't even challenge you. So like you could literally be saying bullshit right now. Oh, I am. We would never <laughs> challenge you. I made all like, this up. Like you just sound like you're, you're kind of like in yes. the Marine Corps where they teach you to, to like just, dude, it doesn't even matter if it's true or not. Just act like you believe it. And that's 90% of getting you there. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. If Dan was the dictator of this country, there would be no funerals. Yeah. It would just be bodies and trash cans. No, I, I respect people's beliefs. I'm okay. not, I would never disabuse someone of their beliefs. I will say it's stupid if it's stupid, but that doesn't mean you have to change it based on, look, just because I have an opinion on things doesn't mean I'm going to use that as opinion, use that opinion as some kind of law or enforcement. What would be the first thing you would do then if you were the dictator of this country? The first thing I would do is the four things I said before, Okay. which is oh, term no. limits for Congress and Senate. You can run three times for Congress. You can run twice for Senate. The second thing is that you, the salaries are cut in half. No pension. But why would you have them if you're going to be a dictator? Because yeah. Pete, we, like, you wouldn't I, even need them. No, no, why no. would you have their opinion? I still, I still need the information from the districts. I need to know what people oh. want and need. Right. So you're, but, but, so, but, like, it, you would be changing up the whole, the whole government, like that. You would listen. You, I would yes. go number one. Hunting. You would basically have a cabinet instead of Congress. You'd have a cabinet getting the information from the different places. I just want, and then yeah, you would yeah, give yeah, it my, to Congress. My, my cabinet would change every two years, though. Like, I don't want the same yeah. people in there into perpetuity because that isn't like, look, there's something to be said. I've heard people in establishment Democratic politics say if you had these term limits and people would have to come in and learn the whole system uh, from scratch, it would it, it would interrupt everything. Like, well, that's kind of what we're trying to do is interrupt everything because you guys are fucked. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would have a new cabinet. I don't know, every two to four years, give or take. That's what uh, Seth MacFarlane does on Family Guy. So he wipes out the writers, yeah. brings in new ones. That way it's always fresh and he there's does, always yeah. new ideas. And it works, it works well. Like, uh, ultimately, uh, these people are full of shit. Yeah. What and were you going to say, Jared? What was the first go. thing you want to do? I was going to say my first thing is, is uh, hunting tags on, uh, on child sex criminals. Just uh, that's, oh, that's a great one. That's, no, there's no tag. It's open season. Like okay. if you're, yeah, all, it's open season. It, I, I would, I would, I would have a stimulus stipend yeah. for you know the heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just That'd have be, to turn no, around. No, no, no. We could do ears like they did in Vietnam and have like the you know like the wire and like run it through their ears. Like you take to me, their that's left a ear. Public, you got to take their left ear. To me, that's a public service. Yeah. Like yeah. absolutely. You don't need. Well, to, I welcome. mean, if we spent three months just wiping out all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like be great. I mean, it would it would instill fear in people thinking that they were going to go down that road. I, I think we should go back to public hangings. Uh, like, yeah, like, I agree I, with that too. Yeah, I, I like the idea of 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 mob justice as long as it's in a small controlled environment. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. if it's something that's a gray area, then there's no mob justice. But there's no gray area with pedophilia. If you're in the sex offender registry as someone yeah. who's fucked a child. You got to die. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. yeah. You're going like away. You, you, you just we're die. getting rid of your kind. Yeah. And like if you're we're making sure that. Yeah. And yeah. if you're if you're uh, somebody from, let's say, Enron, for example, yeah. you got to die, brother. <laughs> yeah. Like if, you put our, yeah. You brother. put our entire country <laughs> at risk. And here's here's what it, it, it depends on how far you want to fucking stretch this out. Right. So if you th if we, we know that there's a causal relationship between poverty and mortality rates. So we know that when people fuck with the economy to make themselves richer, and they, it literally results in deaths. We know that. So what's the difference between that and walking in somewhere and shooting somebody in the face with a fucking handgun? To me, there's no difference. Mm. Because yeah. you know that those are facts. If you're, an, if you're an economist or you're a fucking business person, you know that that's reality. So you yeah. took those actions to make yourself a couple extra million dollars at the expense of actual human lives. You got to go. You yeah. got to die. Uh, like the, the senator here, Dick Burr. Uh, A.K.A. Richard, Richard Burr, yeah. who uh, pulled out 1.7 million out of the stock market. All those people, Feinstein, yep. all of them. An hour go. after uh, getting briefed that's on what the so coronavirus was. That's so fucked up, man. That's Crazy. so fucked up. And like that's that, not that Michigan State look. fucking uh, doctor or whatever the the gymnastics guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name. Started with a P. Larry, yeah. Larry. Larry Nasser. Nasser. That's it. Yeah. 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 People like that. Like if you're in a position of power and you use that power to fuck people over, to injure, kill people, to, to rob them, shit like that, to rape them, shit like that, you got to die, honestly. And that'll yeah, make, you got to die. It'll, yep. it'll make people a lot less anxious to get into power in the first place and mm -hmm. then to abuse it once they get there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I think, I think look, I think that if, if you, like, take all these people off death row, like, fuck it, let's kill them, right? Like, I think if you start doing this in front of people yes, and showing the them the accountability level, 
I think that shit stops. Yeah. We made a lot of mistakes with the witch trials back in the day, but the public execution part was not a mistake. I agree with you. Put a big Great. rock on them and just wait for them to die. How long yeah. does it take, you think? I don't care. <laughs> burn, uh, them, burn, them, they, burn them alive. Yeah. I don't, on, no, 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 no. The, the, the idea yes, that if the every idea. major city had the execution square, yeah. That, yeah. that every Sunday you knew from this time to this time where all the executions being laid out, and this was televised as well, like on a channel, like... Oh, you, you if we could bet on it on my bookie, that would yeah. be the bet best. On my bookie I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand <laughs> the purpose of the constitutional amendment that prohibits cruel and unusual punishment. What's the point of that? No. Like exactly. some people need to be punished need. in a cruel and yes. unusual way. Pedophiles. Yes. People yeah. that yes. fuck up our entire economy. Like we maybe they didn't think about it then. I don't think the framers I don't think everybody uh in, in the late uh eighteenth century really understood what was gonna be the case in the twenty first century. Not so that I had that, a guy so so but let me ask you this, okay? So let me ask you this. What about murderers? What do you mean? That's circumstantial. So like, okay. It's all circumstantial. So I had a, so there was actually a guy from my high school and it's kind of crazy. It's just happened. Um, it was from a guy from my high school. I think I was maybe a freshman, sophomore, something like that. But basically he went in, killed both his parents on like a Friday or Saturday night, uh, hung them all up, came to school on Monday or, or did some shit to him or something like it left them there, but came to school on Monday took two of his friends there, showed them. And like, you're talking like back in 2001, 2002, right? Time mm -hmm. frame. Um, so the governor just pardoned him and let him out no. of jail. That governor's got to go and, too. And, well, well, yeah. I mean, so now he's back. So now the guy is back in society. Like he's up. That, that but, kid's a fucking psychopath. Well, yeah. I mean, exactly. But people are like, well, he served his time. And I'm like, I just, I don't understand like why if you murder, I mean, you do something like that. Like you're not talking about like a self-defense in any way. Well, let's go this, like a drunk driving vehicular manslaughter, you know, a drunk driver That's a hits different. somebody. Yes, they are not, they serve their time. They're not necessarily a danger to society. You know, once that, that is a rehabilitative you know, thing. Yeah, I mean, you don't but you don't rehabilitate somebody who sits there and, and shoots their dad. Yes, the back I know. Of the head that's, a, that's what I mean. Yeah. Mom. You're, like, not, like, you're, you're not changing that person's fucking. Yeah, code. I mean, th th this like, but it's just it's kind of crazy that that like we. I mean, what what do you mean a second chance? Like like what what is that? What does that mean? Like how how do you how do you serve time after 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 doing something like that? You know, and I see everybody in my hometown. Mm -hmm. They're just like. Oh, you know, it's so great to see you back. And it's like this, this dude murdered his parents. Could you imagine the, the dating life that guy has? Yeah, I mean, like, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, wait, you were in Have you ever watched any of the, have you ever watched any of the documentaries? On, Killing my parents. On, have you watched any of the documentaries on women who get married to dudes who are in jail for life? Like that's yeah, a, that is a that real stuff. thing that happens on a very frequent basis. It's very specific wow. people too, yeah. and they're they're in it. They're um, like fans of murderers. Yeah. essentially. <laughs> who was it? The, the West Memphis Three. Uh, the the chick yeah. the chick who married the one who was in jail, and then yeah. they finally got reunited afterwards. You yeah. were like, yo, I think uh, they should get the same second chance that guy, in particular that his parents got, which is no second chance. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, like, so, like, I see all these people from my hometown, like, they're adding them on Facebook and stuff, and, like, I looked at it. Are you just, fucking like, kidding me? Was, oh, yeah, bro, you can go look him up. He's on Facebook and stuff, and so, like, they're, <laughs> they're like, adding him, and then I'm just, like, and I see people saying, hey, great to see you out, wish you well, and I'm just, like, I bet you, I bet you none of you motherfuckers are inviting him over to your house to have nope. dinner with you and your family. And you <laughs> know. I bet you that. Yeah, they're not going to ask him to bring the queso fundido over <laughs> yeah. for the Cinco de Mayo yeah. party. You, 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 know, him, you want to you, you let him watch your kids? Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I think, I think it was about 10 years ago, uh, but Texas tried to add essentially uh, an express lane for the death penalty. So they want if there were two or more witnesses to the murder, there you got, should be, and dude. you got convicted. Yes. If there were two or more witnesses and you got convicted of first yeah. degree murder, you, there's no a prolonged appeal process. You just get fucking whacked. Dude, out. even even if you drove the murderer there and you knew what he was going to do and you didn't stop it, like you you go with them, go with them. You drove them there. You were part of it. Go, you're done too. So, I guess yeah. it depends on what the murder was though. What if the guy raped your kid and then you murdered him? Well, okay, so that like okay, that's a different ball game. I just think we need to go all, back. This let's is go all back. Circumstantial. Let's go back yeah. to tombstone rules. If somebody calls you a cheater during a card game, you can shoot them in the fucking street. 
The oh, fair fight way was legal. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. You know, I, and honestly, look, I'll, I'll volunteer. How would that this. change internet conversations? I'll, I'll, well, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't, Twitter wouldn't exist anymore, I don't think. People right, would be too like, afraid. Hey, you want to say something? Meet me in the street. I'll be out front. <laughs> yeah. I'll, um, and, and honestly, like, I would volunteer for this. Uh, like, I, like, I would wear a Grim Reaper uniform, um, and I would, like, serve the country as to taking out, like, you know, hey, they line them up, and I'll come in on Sunday and, and, and take care of it. Yeah, Jared, what do you think the best form of public killing is, public execution? What would you like to see? I could see you with well, a flamethrower, like one of those Elon I, Musk flamethrowers. I'd like throwers. to see a number. I'd like to see a number of things. I'd I'd love to see I'd love to see public hangings. I'd love to see, you know, I'd love to 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 get one of these people that Dan's talking about. Somebody that's so corrupt that thinks that they that they achieved absolute power, you know, and get them up on that up on that block with the noose around their neck. And 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 just let people come up for for a couple hours and, yeah. and speak their piece. Like you're done, ha ha. Like look where you're at now. Like I think, this is what you did to me. This is what you did. Like like let let the public fucking get their licks in. Yeah. And then once that hour's over, you like see you kick the block so, out from under them. And, so I think you do it in a way of where you let like you because because you got to boost your numbers right on social media so i think what you do is you you let let people vote like oh okay. like a, like, Amer yeah. like american idol text yeah die yeah. Text. Text. five one one yeah. five yeah yeah right <laughs> that would be a blast i mean my i'd love rocks. to see wood wanna, chipper too uh, yeah wood chipper's fun but it's quick i want the rocks i want to be able to throw the rocks because I know, oh, man, those are with, those are nasty. Yeah, if I'm within a the certain stonings, distance, yeah. yes, because you go for different body parts first, and that way it's a slow fucking kill. Dude. I think I want to uh, throw rocks at people. I think the faster the better. I don't. Really? I want them. Yeah, I like, want. I'm not, I go not most just painful. Not just the death no. You though. know what? Actually, I've made my decision, Dan. Blood Eagle. <laughs> With oh Blood God! Eagle. It's a Viking. Fucking <laughs> to explain explain that you, to, to me. Okay, so yeah. it's where uh, you would lay down, like you'd be you'd be put down on your stomach on a wood block, and we'd cut your ribs off of your spine from your back, <laughs> oh, and God. pull your and pull your lungs out, and then we open your rib cage up, and then we hang you up like this, and you look like an eagle. Holy shit. Would you be able to live through <laughs> enough of that? Or you could, do die pretty... Do, 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 you, do you think we could do that with the Russian necktie? <laughs> What's the Russian necktie? Ooh. Where you slit their throat and you pull oh, their tongue down. Pull their Brazilian necktie. Yeah, 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 Brazilian necktie. Yeah, I yeah. think... Uh, yeah, I here, the thing to me is like uh, the Avengers awesome. movie with the Have fucking... Have you not seen it? No. The look, it up, look it up on, on Google Images. Just search... Yeah, uh, it's, it's search bad. Blood Eagle. It's rough. Yeah, Viking Blood, Blood Eagle. Eagle. Um, I think the uh, like in the Avengers that weapon that they made with the Tesseract, the Power Stone, right? Mm -hmm. Where you just get hit and you, your whole body just disappears and you're gone. I think that would freak people out more than if you if you had a live TV broadcast and it was just a person standing on stage by themselves, they get you have five minutes to explain why you did what you did or beg forgiveness or say whatever Oof. you want, and then all of a sudden you just don't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. That would be that would fuck with people hard. I I, I think the longer like, toward, it takes, people are going to look away from suffering. That's why it's like fuck. You can't look away from something just disappearing you, in front of your you face. You think about it, getting it. It underscores the fragility of life and how quickly it can be taken away from you. Right. Well, that's, or that's like, yes. it's a psychological phenomenon to me. It is. I, that's why all these answers are unique in their own way. Because I, if somebody did so, like like the the kitty touching shit, right? Yep. If you did that. I want to see a long, them. slow death with that. I want to see a brave yeah. heart type shit. Yeah. I don't want to see a snap of the fingers and then the pedophile's gone. I want no. there to be a long period of justice. A struggle. Or at least as a parent, yeah. Where I, I feel like, all right, I, I got my money's worth here and fuck this guy. There's and, something poetic about the notion of an eye for an eye. Like if you just rape that guy to death. Yes. Like have a like hundred percent. So back in ancient Rome, back oh. to your the code of Hammurabi. Back to your Rome thing. Uh, so one of the things they used to do was they would put somebody in stocks, right? Mm -hmm. You know what stocks are? Your yeah. head and the arms are through something, and they would put female horse hair pheromones on your ass, and the horse would rape yeah. you to death. Oh, is that real? Yep. And there's Jesus a, Christ. There's, a, there's another one they did where they would put a really? glass. Really? Come on, yeah. Dan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's oh, real. Yeah. There's in, another one they would do where they would put a glass rod up your fucking dick hole and then smash it with a hammer. And you would bleed oh to death. My oh my god, dude! So there's a lot of ways uh, to accomplish the but same. But what about goal. we're we're not thinking like piranha or great white shark tank? That would be fucking rad because that would be yeah. fun to struggle. Watch. Their struggle, 
And it's just. I mean, you know, you know. But the what guy if you made it would be perfect for this? What if you made it ridiculous though? Oh. Like you get you put boxing gloves on somebody and then dropped them in a shark tank. Like you got you got to <laughs> fist fight this shark. If you win, you're good. But if you lose, if you you're win, fighting. you're good. Yeah, we've had like three a, people win. It's like a trial by combat. <laughs> Look, we've had three people win, man. I'm yeah, just that's saying. always just a lie. That's just yeah. a lie. Yeah. Like, oh no, three people have won. Dog, <laughs> it's a you're good. By Go on in. <laughs> Uh, with with a with a with an anchor on their feet that holds them to the bottom. Oh yeah, and they've got a respirator. They're not going to drown. You but you got to fight. The no, you got to no. fight the shark, dude. Yeah, I watched uh, oh, Tiger King on Netflix, which everybody is fucking dying over. Y- you too. Watch Tiger King. It will change your fucking life tonight. Um, but they they tried this. Uh, the one dude tried to kill one of the owners in the tiger cage by putting sardine oil on his, on his shoes, shoes yeah. and they fucking. The tiger got a hold of it, and you're like, oh, shit. If Homeboy didn't have a, a crutch in his hand, he would have been fucking... Well, he was firing his revolver off, too. <laughs> yeah. Dude, to if you guys have never just got on YouTube and searched wild dogs eating, like African wild dogs, like when they oh, eat yes. something... Dude, it's brutal. It is the most brutal yeah. shit that you've ever seen. That would be a good one, like uh, Sin City. Yeah. Where they have the the animals that fucking rip people apart, yeah, or whatever. That would be a good you, one. I would watch that. Did, did you ever see that video? that came out of Mexico where the cartel were like uh, the guy they, cut the other guy's heart out. No, no, I saw like that where one. they held this guy down, and uh, they were letting uh, the like Rottweilers yeah. like yeah. bite his balls yeah, off I and like eating and killing him that way. Jesus yeah, I Christ! Uh, yeah, was, I just it was, like, I, hard to watch. To me, that is for our benefit. Like that's revenge. Mm-hmm. The idea for me is is to prevent people from doing it again Mm -hmm. in some way psychologically and i don't think like it's it's demonstrably true that the death penalty itself is not a deterrent to capital crime like that's there's 40 years of research well no because the way that they're doing it i mean of course not like the way they're doing it like why yeah no shit i mean you get to lay there you get to die peacefully i know but even even arguing even back in the day when there was even back in the day when there were shootings and hangings it still wasn't a deterrent to crime like it's not. I, mean, I don't know. I think I, I if you I did disagree. in a public arena, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I think like, we have to go weirder. The last, the last person who yeah, got killed on I, death row I was like electrocution, you. and then there was a small fucking four sentence article of like 12:08 a.m. They they electrocuted this man in Texas. I mean, yeah, no one cares. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I, like, I, oh yeah, I, mean, I, I think no, we have go to go weirder. I want to see. It in I think we have to go. I, I, so partially, I'm on board with you. I think we have to go farther. Like we have to test the limits of what humans can take, right? We have to like, and I mean psychologically. So if yeah, but I mean you if, don't want to fuck. It, I mean you don't want to fuck people up way worse than the tragedy that already happened to them, right? Like we just want to show the world that like, hey, check it out. Like there is an accountability factor. Like like it's fine. It's fine. Like I, I don't let let crime go up. We'll just kill more of you, right? Let, It'll eventually let me stop. Run, let me run the scared straight program. <laughs> For two years. No, I, I want in on that. I've plummet. got some ideas. Dan, I honestly think that you should like you should be forced to get fixed because I don't think you should be able to reproduce. <laughs> <laughs> I think that like it should like like if I ever got in any position of power, that the first thing I would do for the, not not on behalf of the country, but on behalf of the world, yeah. is I would send people to come get you the same way the FBI went in and got Roger Stone and everybody else, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, I would send them to come get you, and like we would fix you to where Give you could V-sec. not yeah. reproduce. No, well, yeah. well, but, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> a good cult leader doesn't necessarily need to produce offspring. I can make people my offspring psychologically. <laughs> That's true. Oh, That's true. You look at Jonestown, boom. dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not saying I'm going to do yeah. that. I'm just saying I'm probably going to do you gotta that. You got to take out think- the brain as well as the <laughs> yeah. nut, dude. You got to take out yeah. the brain as well as the nut. Well, look, 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 look. I, I think we'd have a better way of fighting the war uh, of people who aren't doesn't have your blood in them. Like, I think that, like, your DNA just reproduced to something else would be something that just is not needed. It's, I mean, you talk, you, the like, coronavirus, coronavirus is not nothing compared to if dan reproduces mm. <laughs> the holloway virus True, yeah yeah the holloway <laughs> virus yeah i mean uh this is the point in the show we get to the drinking bro of the week kids uh you submitted it uh, like we say all the time look you submit it and we read it live on air we don't know what it is this is uh joe herman has submitted this and he says i would like to nominate the at vnc double a's on twitter for drinking bros of the week I know you guys are big basketball fans, and this is your sports show today, but these guys simulated the NCAA wrestling tournament in real time and gave us 
fans and coaches who were not able to attend or follow the tournament some entertainment. Uh, absolutely, man. Shit. There's awesome. a, there's actually a oh. lot of big wrestling fans out there. Um, awesome. Yeah. Like, perf- like no, uh, NCAA. Like, Wrestling, Roman, real one, not no, not like Roman Reigns or uh, The Rock and shit no, no, like no. that. Roman Greco, yeah, Greco Roman style. Romans, Re- yeah, Re- Greco Roman style. Did you wrestle in high school, Dakota? You look like a guy who yeah, did. Yeah, he wrestled dudes. Yeah, he did. Uh, well, usually, uh, you know, you, we usually. I mean, when I went to high school, like guys are guys and girls are girls. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like if if we would have wrestled like we would have wrestled dudes because that did you that would have been the division did I you ever yeah. did you ever think that <laughs> at any point in your life you would have to distinguish between a male and a female penis no uh, well, <laughs> i mean i like it i like it yeah. i just didn't see it coming that's all i'm saying <laughs> not hating i'm just saying like holy shit oh, <laughs> like that's man. one thing God, the, like way, when the you, way i look at it is it gives me more options yeah, it's true. <laughs> true. It's true. It's true. It's a long life, and you're going to get bored eventually. I'm so. not. Look, Matt. Matt's. Matt said a bunch of times. There's a couple of hot trannies out there. So, yeah. Just uh, keep your keep your game up. Keep your keep your fucking eyes up, guys. Yeah, wow. eyes up. Well, I mean, but if you didn't know, does Heart like, pure. Uh, like if if you didn't know, does yeah, there's the marine does it, coming does out? It, I mean, there if you didn't is. know, does it count? I mean, how many no. crayons are nope. we talking about here, guys? That's <laughs> what I really want to know. Uh, Dakota oh, Meyer, wow. thank you for joining yeah, us today, man. We appreciate it. If you're out there, subscribe to Front Toward Enemy on uh, iTunes, Spotify, and uh, and go to Dakota Meyer's it just says YouTube thick. page. Goddamn right it does. It just then, says thick on the front. Duke Cannon, dude. Duke Cannon, can I implore you to change it to T-H-I-C-C, please? C-C. I think somebody on, patented guys. that name. I think somebody po- uh, patented that name. Uh, for D'Anthony and Anthony Holloway, mm. Jared Taylor, Dakota Meyer, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. Good night.